All right, guys, today I wanna to show you a quick tip on setting up your live scope in order to be able to see the splash better. What that is, is when you first cast out there, a lot of people like to be able to see where their bait hits the water. You know, the bubbles and you know the air from your bait hitting the water, you can see that splash and it makes it easy to find your bait quickly on the screen to then watch your bait to see where it sinks. So let me show you in the settings real quick what it is I'm doing. So, got your live scope on here, come into your menu. It's gonna be under sonar setup from there installation and the thing that's really important is the installation depth and what this is is the depth between the water line to the top of your live scope transducer so you'll see here where i've got mine set is 1.8 but let me just really quickly demonstrate what it is this is doing so to kind of demonstrate it i'm going to set it as if this thing was 10 feet underwater which is obviously a you know nowhere near what it is your live scope transducer has a 135 degree range. So you can see this line right here, this is the top of what your transducer is capable of. Now obviously your transducer is really far up here, but by adjusting it, you're able to see what's up on the surface a lot better. So let's come back in here and adjust that and add it, put in there correctly. Oops. Sonar setup, installation, install depth. And for mine, I'm gonna go 1.8 feet. now you can see where that is adjusted. By doing this, you're gonna be able to pick up what's out here in front of the boat. You can see my range is set to 80 feet right now. And when I make those casts, you're gonna be able to see that splash of your bait hitting the water, which is gonna make it easier to be able to tell where your bait is. All right, so I'm gonna cast out a drop shot as well as an A-rig and just show you what it is that splash looks like on the screen and how that install depth affects that. So check this out. You guys can see right there how it splashed and then you can watch the drop shot descending there coming back up the screen that's what it looks like so i'm also going to do this with an a-rig and being that an a-rig is such a, a massive bait it's much much easier to see but i want to show you even with a drop shot you can pick it up i'm gonna fire this thing way out there and you can see my a-rig splash right there and you can see it coming back to the boat so next time you're on the water, try adjusting this setting with your live scope and see the difference it makes in being able to see that initial splash to help you track your bait back to the boat.